Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. And today I'm going to talk about some uh, new pickups, arcade pickups that is. So, in the last video, I talked about this uh, Rastan arcade board, and this is still working fine, but um, I am gonna, I think I'm gonna replace the capacitors because, uh, which one is it? I think it's this one here is leaking a little bit. It's hard to see. Luckily it's leaked on this sort of ground plane that won't really get corroded so that's fine but I'm going to replace the capacitors but it's still working fine. So just a little update on Rastan. So I did pick up some more arcade boards. So I've got this one here. This one is uh, Prisoners of War. Now this is a pretty cool arcade game and I never knew about this game before I bought this. Um, I did do a little bit of research before I bought it. Um, but I mainly got it because it was a good price. It was kind of like an impulse purchase. And the, I actually was trying to get a different board, which I do have, I'll show you this, I'll show you it after this one. Um, the same seller had this board and I thought why not because it was, again, it was a good price, so. Uh, I did do a bit of research, it's basically an SNK beat-em-up, uh, kind of like Double Dragon. But you're a POW and you're just trying to escape basically and you can pick up, you know, knives and guns and stuff, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I've been playing this and I absolutely love it. It's a great game, amazing soundtrack as well, uh, very awesome, so I've kind of fallen in love with this game. Um, but yeah, this is from 1988, and you've got the original SNK seal there, made in Japan, SNK at the top. And this is an interesting version, because this is actually a second revision, so uh, there isn't uh, the first revision of this board. Um, these ROMs here are missing. Um, and it would have these uh, connectors here would be populated and you'd have a daughter board on top for the ROMs. And um, this is a second revision which gets rid of that and populates these. So this is a second revision and I'm not sure when this came out. Um, all the dates seem to point to 1988 which is the same year the original came out but I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, this is a second revision. Uh, a bit more reliable version, and a bit better because it doesn't have a big board on top. But yeah, it's in great condition, and um, I did replace these capacitors here, so there was four caps here, and this one in particular was leaking. Well, it wasn't really leaking on the board, but it was, it was crusty on top, so I knew it was going to leak, or it was at least bad. Um, so what I've done is I replaced the caps, these two replaced just fine, no issues. And I don't condone this by the way, but with these caps I just had to, you know, I had to solder them to the top. They, they didn't actually go through the board. Um, and I don't like doing that, but the reason I did that is because for whatever reason, I could not clear the holes of solder. I managed to take the caps out, there was still a little bit of solder left. I tried, like, Everything I could, all the tools I have, I just could not get the solder out. And you know, I was I was heating up the board so many times that I was like almost slightly burning the board. So I didn't want to damage it. So I said, okay, I'd, and I just trimmed the legs a bit and I just soldered them to the top. So they just bend over like that. But um, it doesn't get in the way of anything. It's all good. And of course, I made sure it was also connected at the back as well. So it works totally fine, and it's been recapped. There is still some more capacitors underneath this uh, heat sink here, just little ones, but they seem to be fine. So, but yeah, awesome board, very great game, amazing soundtrack as well. Okay, and then this is the board that I was originally trying to get, which I did get. So this is the original board that I wanted, off that seller, um, and it's this, this is uh, Altered Beast, which as soon as I saw this I had to get it, I mean, 
I'm a big fan of Altered Beast. I'm a big fan of the original Sega sort of arcade games, um, mainly because of the Mega Drive. I just played so much Mega Drive when I was younger, um, and I played all the classics, you know, like Altered Beast, Game Ground, Golden Axe, stuff like that, Alien Storm. So as soon as I saw Altered Beast, I had to get it. It's in pretty good shape. It's even got like the original labels, which are kind of faded and yellowed. All the original ROMs, and then you can see the label there, Altered Beast. And for those of you who don't know, uh, this is not a jammer board, so Sega used um, what's called the Sega System 16, which is basically kind of its own sort of console in a way. It's actually what the Mega Drive is based off. Um, but yeah, this is basically the Sega System 16 motherboard, which from my understanding is pretty much similar, if not the same, as most other Sega System 16 arcade boards. Um, so this is pretty much the same, however this is the actual difference, is the actual ROM board which is Altered Beast and then obviously like, for example Alien Storm might have the same sort of board and a different ROM board on top. However, Sega actually had a copy protection, so uh, on a lot of the chips, um, for example the main CPU and the Z80, um, uh, music, you know, sound CPU, uh, they had a what's called a suicide battery on top, which um, basically means when it uh, fails, when it runs out of battery or the ROMs are removed or the, the CPU or sound chip are removed, um, it stops working essentially. So yeah, that's why it's called a suicide battery. Now, the cool thing about this version of Altered Beast, which I never knew existed until I got this one, is the fact that it doesn't have the any suicide batteries, which is really cool. Um, I believe it has some other form of cop copy uh, protection, um, which means you can't change the ROMs out or something like that. But either way, this is a pretty cool version that you don't need to change anything on. And it doesn't have a lifespan because there's no battery. So, yeah, an original Altered Beast from 1988 in good condition, all works great. I'm going to show you guys um, a bit of footage after um, I've shown you these boards of gameplay and stuff. Oh, also, just a quick thing here show you guys. So, this is a adapter called a Sega System 16 to uh, Jammer adapter. So uh, basically, the Sega System 16 is a different pinout than Jammer. So you get an adapter like this, and you just uh, put it on like so. There we go. And then this it converts it to a uh, Jammer. And the cool thing about this adapter is that it actually has little holes so you can put some of the uh, PCB feet under to make it level which is pretty awesome okay and for the last board just let me go and get it now this last board has caused me a lot of pain and misery recently and I've got to be quite careful with it this is a bootleg um, Golden Axe arcade board. Um, so yeah, bootleg Golden Axe. So of course I would like the original. Uh, the original Golden Axe would be a Sega System 16 like this. But um, you know, I imagine they're quite expensive. I've not seen one for sale. And to be honest, I don't mind bootlegs. I mean. Sometimes are really bad. This one doesn't seem too bad, um, but it does have some issues. So I bought this off of eBay. Um, seller said it was working, showed pictures of it working, and I, and I trust the seller as well. I'm sure it was working, but when I received it, it was not uh, working correctly. So when I turned it on, uh, it just had a white screen and nothing was happening. Um, I'd move, I moved the board about a little bit, just like wiggled the board 
and then it came to life and then it stopped working again then it would start working again and it was just a big cycle so uh, I actually originally thought it was these ribbon cables here because this is obviously two bones and they're connected with these ribbon cables so I thought it was the ribbon cables because I've seen other videos and people say the ribbon cables go bad so I spent forever trying to you know mess with the ribbon cables and then it didn't do anything so what I did was I removed one of these chips that was a bit crooked and I reseated it and it works <laughs> so I think one of these chips was just a bit crooked um, to be honest I think all these chips are pretty pretty old and knackered um, of course Golden Axe came out in 1989 so I believe this bootleg's probably from 1989 as well. But all these chips say uh, 1986 on them. So they're probably just old parts that they use for the bootleg. And uh, yeah, they are old and they're all original. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are crooked and not seated very well. Uh, this one has a pin that's kind of... Looks like it's snapped off or disconnected, but it's not. At least I don't think it is. Um, so yeah, I need to reseat all these and spray a bit of contact cleaner in the sockets. Um, but yeah, I don't have the right tools to do it. I did reseat one of them with just a little screwdriver. Um, but I almost bent the pins. So um, yeah, I don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to wait until I have like, the proper tools. Um, and also I want to get one of those devices that you know you can flash ROMs or burn ROMs or whatever onto uh, ROM chips so I can back the uh, ROMs up just in case because I'm not exactly sure what version this is there's a few bootlegs of Golden Axe out there so I want to back all this up um, and then I'll reseat them and clean everything and uh, also there was a few issues so there was a capacitor over here a ceramic capacitor that had literally just been snapped off so I, I, I clipped it off because it was hanging on the board still and then this capacitor here was also hanging off the board uh, so I swapped it with a new one uh, so this is a brand new capacitor um, and yeah it does work mostly but um, the issue I have now is that there's no voice sounds so obviously in Golden Axe the enemies uh, make sounds when they die and so does the characters and stuff like that and there is no voice sounds um, so I'm assuming it's an issue unless this bootleg doesn't have voice sounds but I'd be surprised so if anyone can let me know I don't know if certain bootlegs don't have that the voice sounds maybe I'm not sure um, also, if anyone has this bootleg or knows anything about it, I'm not sure which one is the voice sound ROM, if there is one. Maybe one of these two here. But it'd be interesting to know so I can maybe reseat it and it might fix it. Uh, other than that, the main sound works, like the sound effects and the music. However, the uh, sound effects themselves seem to like change pitch sometimes, so they sound a little weird. Not all the time, but sometimes they sound a little weird. So I'm assuming it's a capacitor near the sound section. Um, however, the background music sounds totally fine, so I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the sound effects themselves do work. They just sound a, sometimes a little weird, like, you know, the pitch is kind of changing a little bit. Other than that, it seems to work. So I believe a lot of the faults might be just the ROM chips need reseating. Um, and the cool thing is, because this is a bootleg, um, it uses Jammer instead of Sega System 16, so that's pretty cool. And the only other thing that I'm not sure about is these uh, dip switches here. Um, of course, this is a bootleg, so it's not going to be the same as the original, so I'm, I'm not sure what the dip switches do. Um, there was a guide online to the different bootleg dip switches, but none of them seem to be the same as this, so 
I don't know if anyone, again, has this board or knows where I can find information on it, but I don't know what the dip switches do, so I'm kind of like blindly changing them, uh, but I still don't really know what they do. And uh, the other thing that's pretty cool is that this seems to be the uh, Japanese version of the game, from what I can tell, um, because it has the, uh, you know, the sort of violent intro where um, Axe Battler knocks the uh, head off that uh, guy in the intro and blood's everywhere. And it also has Japanese text, so I believe it's the Japanese uh, version of the game too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get these hooked up and I'll show you a bit of gameplay of each one. Okay, so another update as well, in terms of arcade stuff, is that I got... Um, I uh, custom customized my uh, Neo Geo stick, so I've got a uh, clear top here because um, a lot of the original sticks, and this is a really common problem, is that they uh, crack like into lots of sections, uh, like it's just a really common problem so I replaced that, um, and it's a slightly bigger size too so it's kinda nice and then I changed the buttons too um, these are the original buttons and I actually prefer these, um, they're a lot nicer so and it didn't cost too much either and then also another update is that I uh, got a Gemma harness, so this is basically an extension cable. So this will plug into the super gun, and then I plug this into the board, rather than plugging the super gun into the board. And the reason for that is just it gives me a bit more room, and it also means I'm not putting as much um, pressure on the connector by hooking the uh, super gun straight up. So anyway, I'm gonna hook this up now. And this is Altered Beast. So yeah, this is Altered Beast. I'm gonna plug it in. And then I need to turn the OSSC on. There we go. I'm going to have to change some of the colours. Anyway, so the colours are working now. Uh, I'm going to turn it down a bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah, Altered Beast. Power up. Yeah, I could capture this, because this is actually my capture card, but... I'll just show you on the camera for now. But yeah, I do love this game. Uh, very difficult, of course. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting is that the Sega System 16 boards, at least this game, um, doesn't seem to have uh, a test mode for some reason, which is kind of annoying. Because I really wanted to listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> There's no test mode, so... But yeah, it's Altered Beast. I like the game, a lot of people don't. It's a hard game. Um, but it's supposed to be hard, right? It's an arcade game. A lot of people complain because it's hard, but... Again, it's an arcade game, so... Okay, and this is uh, Prisoners of War here. Again, this is the uh, Japanese version, which is kind of cool. This is the startup sequence. So it'll start up, say OK, and then it'll have a little chime. There we go. It should be, there we go. There we are, Prisons of War. So like I said, this game, 
pretty fun. Cool beat em up. Has a really satisfying kick. And punch, I guess. Uppercut. Yeah, I kind of like Double Dragon. But I actually prefer this over Double Dragon. I didn't know you could do that as well. If you press kick and punch together. But yeah, I, I've not played Double Dragon in ages, but I do. So far, I prefer this. And yeah, it has a really good soundtrack too. But yeah, that's uh, Prisoners of War. And then we've got the Golden Axe bootleg here. This one has a really snug fit with the connector, which I guess is a bad thing. <laughs> Um, let's see. Make sure I line that up properly. It's a snug fit, but there is a bit of wiggle room, so I mean, I want to make sure the uh, pins are aligned properly. That's golden eyes. Now, the problem with this game is it's really dim. If you can see there. Um, however, I can turn it up. I'm going to leave it as it is, but I can turn it up by messing with the RGB voltage um, lines and stuff. But yeah, I'll turn it up a bit. But yeah, cold and nice. So like I said, it does have issues uh, with the sound. So the soundtrack sounds fine. The soundtrack sounds fine, but there's no sounds when uh, when enemies die. So yeah, I'm not sure. Like I said, it could be a wrong issue. I have no idea. Also, the sound only comes through one speaker. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because the game's mono, maybe? Or whether it's supposed to go on both, regardless. Um, that, so that could be another issue as well, maybe capacitor related, but uh, if any of you guys know what, could, what the issue could be. It seems like capacitors, but I don't know, so... But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. At least it actually works. Uh, I did get a partial refund because the board, you know, wasn't working properly, so... Uh, I did get some of my uh, money back, uh, so I just need to figure out how to sort out the voices and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it seems to work, so for you guys, a couple... Well, a few of the extra games I've gotten recently. Uh, I've also got something else coming, quite a big thing, um, arcade related, which will be an interesting video, and a little project as well, so you can probably guess what it is, um, so I'll definitely make a video on that rise. But yeah, anyway, appreciate you guys watching, I uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, take care.